testimony. Let the nose ring. She's probably more jealous of Tanya's relationship with Paul because she doesn't have a relationship with Mark. To be honest, like, with a penis. You need to be a Mimi Leaks, Miss Lenithia Leaks brought Real Housewives of Atlanta back to what we needed and she absolutely read Miss Kenya Moore for filth. I'm sorry Miss Kenya Moore but you lost that read session. Nini just went in, it was a bit too much, it was several low blows but we've seen that from, Lenith from Miss Lenithia Leaks before and it was, it was everything. Just like wow. Mark is twirling right on out of the marriage. He made his nose ring. Bye Mark. Hey guys, it's Murad Murad. Hope you guys are doing well today. If you haven't already, click that button for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram, Murad underscore Murali, and let's get into this particular video. Now, I know I intermittently kind of review this particular show, Real House of Atlanta. This was one of the shows that I actually first reviewed on my channel many, many moons ago. So I have a very close connection, let's just say, to this particular show. I've been watching it, you guys have been watching it. I review it here and there, not as much because I focus more on UK content, but here and there, I will review this particular season. Now, this trip, Greece, Athens, everything, everybody is looking beautiful. They're looking younger and younger each season. And I feel like, you know, this was a very good kind of balance of people. Here, I feel like I didn't really miss Eva's presence. That is the tea, really, to be honest, really and truly, to be honest, for the entire message of this video. Eva's presence, I wasn't thinking of it. When she was FaceTime and phone, and I was just like, child, just end the damn phone call. I don't really care about her. She hasn't really done as much. She has underperformed massively this season, and I do not expect her to return next season. And I just find like it's just irritating because it's not every single damn season you're having a baby. It's just not everyday baby. Please, I'm tired. Portia and Nini made up. So much, Nini. Thank you. I'm happy for this. They made up now. This was bound to happen. Big sis, little sis, nonsense. I feel like, you know, Nini was apologetic, but at the same time, she made it about herself. We don't want to know about what happened with you and your husband and he had cancer and it was hard for you. Yes, we know that. We acknowledge that. You know, everybody was helping you and receptive, but you were receptive to everybody else. It was the worst time of my life, the worst time of my marriage, and I felt just closed off. You made that apology session that you were meant to do and give to Portia about yourself. And unfortunately, Portia was just silly enough to fall for it. And these two will be in cahoots in a couple of seasons again. And I just feel like Nini will always find an excuse to make something about herself. It's a typical narcissistic trait and move. However, irrespective of how narcissistic she is, we all know she makes brilliant damn TV. And that took place when it comes to this particular last scenario. But before I get into that, I do want to get into this Tanya and Portia friendship that we are seeing, the frickin' frack 2.0, and I feel like it's a refreshing kind of brand that we haven't seen. Put Phaedra in there, that would be a cute little clique that we didn't really expect. But I like how Portia and Tanya really have bubbly energy. They're very charismatic, I like their energy, their personalities, and they bounce off each other very, very easily. I didn't get a chance to touch me in which makes good TV. I know Tanya rejected it this year, but hopefully next year she will reclaim her peach because she was offered it and she denied it. I don't, I'm not mad at her for doing that, but at the same time, I really would want her to have a peach because she has a direct, different, new personality that brings a whole new, fresh perspective, and she's still bringing that fresh content. The gag is Tanya has brought more to this season as a friend than Eva has as a housewife. Lord have mercy, speak on it speak on it. But this particular situation at the end, I knew this was going to happen. Kenya and Nini have this kind of back and forth that help to bring the show as, as to what it is. They are two of the biggest characters when it comes to this season. We need Nini and we need Kenya. <laughs> Right. Bring it out, because that was disgusting. With that oil and water, these two will never really get along. 
but um, it, ma it makes good TV. And we can clearly see that Nini pushed those arguments and she was arguing with her and she was reading Kenya Fulfilled, going in for the husband and everything. I'm not mad at Nini doing that. I am not mad at Nini doing that. I don't care if it's a low blow because Kenya has done the same thing, not only to Tanya this season, but she did it to Phaedra and Phaedra was about to hit Kenya with her purse. She's done it to Portia and Portia got very angry at the reunion season six. So this has happened many times. Kenya has done low blows and accused people of cheating and doing this and X, Y, Z and stuff like this. So all the energy she put out is coming right back to her. And I'm not mad at it. This is, these are the real parts of the Atlanta. If you're going through something that's bottom barrel, so bad for you, somebody will use as ammunition against you if you cross the line with them. We've seen them all throw low blows. But spitting, which we obviously going to see in the next episode, I'm not here for that at all. And I feel like that in itself is just too degrading. But we can see that Kenya does read well. She has performed. Season five, she was awful. Season six, seven, eight, she was getting better. She improved. I'd, I find it very irritating when she calls herself the Shade Assassin or the Assassin Queen. Child, you are not the Assassin Queen. Bring Phaedra back in here and it'll be a different situation because she already fulfilled many times when she was on the show. So please stop calling yourself the Shade Assassin because you are not. It is Miss Phaedra Parks. She's not on the show, but how she has read you on national TV, you cannot claim that title. You just can't. Nini was reading a left, right, center. It went way overboard. And you can see that, I don't know what it is, but Nini and, not Nini, Portia and Kenya are, are not as close as we think that, we, that they are. They haven't really formed a friendship. They're just okay with each other. They are civil. And you can see that Kenya and Portia have been itching throughout the season to get into arguments because I feel like these two will get into arguments not only at the reunion, if it actually happens, because it's been delayed, but in the next season. I feel like that particular kind of situation will reignite between them two. And I'm not mad at that because when these two argue, it may good TV But you can see that, you know, at some points, kind of does get irritated with her. But that standoff between those two was everything. It was good TV, and you can see that Nini was not having any of it. She was just pissed off. She was irritated. I feel like she went overboard. OTT. You can see that even Candy was like, "What are you? What's, what's going on here? Don't stand up. Don't try threatening me and throw things. Don't try to get physical." And we know that Nini has done that before, not only with Kim, but also, you know, um, with the closet situation as well. Um, so there's been several situations. So I'm not mad. I'm not. I'm not surprised at her being physical. I feel like that in itself, you know, stay in your lane. You don't need to get up and try and stand up and charge someone and or whatever because you were pissed off with Kenya when she walked in charge at the pillow fight surely you standing up and making an issue is the same thing but of course you know Nina doesn't hold herself as to everybody else she thinks she's better than them and doesn't really apologize and when she says to Portia I apologize if what I said may hurt you the key word is me that is taking away you apologize for what you said for your actions and I'm glad that T Tanya was holding her ground when Tanya and Kenya were talking and Tanya was like saying everything that you did was just way too much. I wanted to them to finish their dialogue. I'm so sorry. And it took me Portia. And it didn't have to be. So I apologize for that. I would never touch your business. I accept that. Well, that's the end. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, where I really want to be is that Nini and Kenya have a please. In the same way you were affected by that because your business is precious to you, our houses, our families, our partners, our spouses right. are going to be Right, speak on it. Over and above. Mm -hmm. The parent woman wouldn't do that to another woman. Look. Because so I really wanted Tanya to inform Kenya of everything wrong and what she did properly. Because when Tanya is assertive, she is very assertive, and I really like that. But unfortunately, Nina and Kenya got in the way. But that was everything. I was living for it, and I felt this season was probably. You know, season 11 was absolute filth, but this season is, is actually is much better. We just need Phaedra back hopefully next year just to make the ensemble, just make it back to where it needs to be and hopefully that can take place. But truly, and like that was everything. I did not expect me to go in like that. She went all the way in. Let me know your thoughts when it comes to this video. Let me know if you enjoy my Real House of Atlanta reviews. I don't do as much. Let me know if you want me to do it on a weekly basis because I will try my hardest to do so. Do subscribe. Click that button for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram, Murad underscore Subscribe to my channel. I'll catch you guys soon for another video.